good morning everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is mama forbes so this is part two of me living staying in gambia not living in gambia staying in gambia so this is day two it's early in the morning i've woken up and i told my auntie that today i'm going to cook so i'm gonna make um breakfast slash brunch i would, I would say it's more brunch than breakfast so we bought some ingredients yesterday and i'm gonna make some oyster stew so we can like have that with like bread and stuff like that with some plantain and then some um sweet sweet potatoes as well so i've woken up this morning as i mentioned so i've got some of the ingredients here anyway i'll show you guys when i put the camera down because i hate positioning the camera because it doesn't position properly so yeah so this is day two in the gambia um, I haven't got much planned for today. Um, it's more of like you guys just being with me as I run errands, as I cook, as I do a few things in the house. Um, so yeah, so day two. Um, um, let me just show you guys the, um, the ingredients I'm going to be using to make this stew. And I'll just like show you guys how I'm going to be doing everything. Again, traditional cooking again today. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is the ingredients I've got. I've got some um, peppers, onions, oh flies, um, and some tom tomatoes. And then on this corner here, I've got my oyster, which is currently in cold water. I'm about to clean that with some salt to get all the germs out of it. And I'm going to use this matter pencil again to beat all the ingredients. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, I know that section of me cooking ended a bit abruptly, but my battery died. And and also holding the camera, even my tripod, changing it, positioning it, was taking too long. So you know what I did? I didn't even bother g g getting a new, getting my other um, um, charger. I was like, I can't be bothered to get my other battery, sorry. So I just left it alone and I cooked. We finished cooking, we ate. The food was lovely, I cooked. I'm proud of myself, I must say. <laughs> so anyway, now me and my aunt were just in, in the house, just chilling, watching TV. Um, I bought like some, I bought some um, roast corn and some roasted peanuts as well. So I'm about to have that while watching movies. So, so far, really, really chilled. I haven't had a chance to really go out and actually like see the hologram. I've been at home most of the time, so. Kind of liking the little chilling section but anyway let me show you guys my the peanut i bought 
and then I'll show you guys also my roasted corn as well. It's literally getting roasted like three minutes away from this house. It's like a lady that does it, so it's like freshly hot. Anyway, let me show you guys. So these are the roasted peanuts. Literally, the lady made it like she literally lives like two minutes away from here. She's makes it and it's literally hot. So I'm about to have that, and I'm just waiting for the roasted corn to be finished with. So I'm gonna have that. So the corn is finished roasting. Well, it's a teeny bit burnt. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna try it regardless. And we're still watching TV. I'm doing some editing. So yeah. So guys, I'm gonna have my corn and I think after that I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, watching TV and editing. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I'll see you guys at day three. Let's see what I get up to, but day two is over. I'll see you guys in the next video. And this is day three of me visiting the Gambia. So you guys are probably thinking right now, why is your face so shiny? So if you, as you guys know already, I purchased a whole load of shea butter. And today I decided to smother the whole of my body in shea butter. So right now I am shining. My face is glistering. Everything right now is smooth with shea butter from head to toe. So I, I put a lot of shea butter in my face because I was just like, you know what? I really want my body to like take in all the nutrients right now like all it can take because I've been um, in the house most of the time so today this morning I didn't do much vlogging because it was kind of like the same routine I woke up uh, made breakfast with my auntie um, today we didn't cook so it was more of like um, what we cooked yesterday is what we had today um let me just hold the camera this way because it's much more better um so yeah that's mainly what we did today and i'm not quite sure what we're gonna end up doing the rest of the day but i haven't got much planned however guys i'm currently using my computer and researching all the different areas in the gambia that i, that I could potentially visit because i'm here i don't want to just spend most of my time at home i actually want to see the gambia because it is a beautiful country and i've seen so many other youtube um, uh, vloggers create a beautiful content in the gambia and i've also researched you know all the tourist places you can go to so please be patient with me i'm just trying to get a little bit you know rested i'm trying to you know get myself a bit more comfortable in the gambia before i start creating more con more eye-catching content let me just say um i might be spending day four um, somewhere else but currently it's not secured yet so I'm not gonna speak too fast but maybe day four is gonna be a bit more fun but for now um, I'm still researching trying to find out exactly what I want what I want to do with my time what type of content I want to create as I'm already here oh flies come on Whew. anyway so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna end up spending the rest of the days I mentioned but I will try to film as much as I can today of whatever it is I end up doing but for now, I'm just going to go and turn on my computer and, um, yeah, do some researching, basically, guys. And, yeah, I might end up going to a bar or something like that with my auntie later on today because she's, she's been telling me, you know, you should go and meet, sit with the locals and talk to people and, you know, get to know people a bit more. So I think today I might go ahead and do that and I'll take you guys along with me. But, yeah, see you guys in the next clip. So this is day four vlog of me visiting the Gambia. So I'm waking up early this morning and haven't had breakfast yet because today we are going straight into cooking. And to be fair, I'm not actually hungry. I just rather just get on with the cooking and then have something to eat then. So we're gonna make some stew today, some Australian stew. Um, the traditional way again. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how we're, make, how we're gonna be making this stew. So yeah, come along with me. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do later on today. As you guys know, like I mentioned, I am still mainly staying at home. I haven't gone to visit the city or the more tourist area of the Gambia yet. I'm still very much at home every single day, but hopefully I'll do that soon. So for today, just gonna do some cooking. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna end up spending the rest of the day. May end up going to a closed bar or maybe even going to speak to a few neighbors and just get to understand the surroundings i'm not quite sure yet but keep watching and let's see what i get up to so yeah let's go ahead and let's start cooking <laughs>
for one day. So yeah, this is where we keep the food. Um, these containers keep the food hot for like a few hours. So over here we have the rice. And in this soup we have the, the sauce. Um, there's more bowls of sauces, but this is what we're gonna have for today. So yeah, I'm ready to tuck in.